demonstration of how to properly use a claw hammer. A few things you're gonna need. You're gonna need the wood that you're nailing into. You're gonna need some nails, and I have two sizes here, a four penny, and I've got a six penny that's already started. You're going to need a claw hammer of some type. You can either use a straight head or a curved head claw hammer of whatever various weight you prefer. Um, most generally people for general use prefer a 16 ounce, and that's mostly what I have in the shop. You're definitely gonna need a pair of safety glasses though, because nails have a habit of, as you strike them, if you do not strike them perfectly straight, they have a, a habit of a just ricocheting off and shooting out across somewhere. And the safety glasses is really your only protection against it. And believe it or not, Of safety glasses can take a lick. So, a couple tricks. And what you have to kind of visualize and keep in mind is that as you're striking this nail, you're going to want to hold the head so that it is perfectly parallel striking down on that nail head. You don't want to hold off to one side because if you're striking that way, you're sending the force at an angle and it's going to bend your nail. Any way you strike that nail head and you miss it, and you're not coming up perfectly straight up and down, it's gonna, it's gonna cause the nail to try to shoot off at an angle. So some of the important things about using this hammer. The first thing to realize is the grip. And the grip is back here, and it's most all of the newer ones have a indented area. They're, and they're, it pretty well flows. You'll see the little part that kicks back here. That's where your little finger should go and grip it up. It's not designed to be held up there. It's not designed to be held all the way back there. So it's actually designed to be held right there. Now I prefer to put my thumb on top. It helps me line up. I've seen some people do it this way. You can't get a lot of force, but you can work that way. And some people grip it around straight. I prefer to use my thumb, it just helps me see it. Now the magic of this comes from the elbow and comes from the wrist. Because as I come down, I'm gonna bring my wrist in a little snap, and I don't have to lift my arm very far, and I can drive a nail with just my wrist if I want to. And if I've got a heavier nail, I'll involve the whole arm, And I, but all I'm moving is this. I'm not moving my entire body. I'm just moving the lower part of my arm, and as I come down with the hammer, I'm gonna give a little snap with the wrist, and I'm gonna try to meet that nail head perfectly square every time. That's the basics. Now to get one started, you'll take your nail, you line it up where you want a nail, and you're gonna give it a couple light taps. At least two, sometimes three. You want it stuck in there pretty good, just enough where you can wiggle it out if you wanted to. Because you're gonna to wanna to start it. And you're gonna have your fingers up here, and you do not wanna leave your fingers near it, because anytime you hit your fingers with the hammer, it's not a pleasant day. So I've got it started, and I'm gonna take three or four licks, and I'm trying to visualize that I'm staying exactly parallel with the angle of that nail. You see this nail's lined up just a little bit off head, so I have to make sure I make sure I note my nail. Because if I hit it at an angle, see it wants to move. If I hit it perfectly straight, it drives straight in. Even if I get here and I start hitting it, it'll want to bend. Now here's a trick to straighten a bent nail. You can take the claw part, slide it over the nail, and bend it sideways. And that'll help straighten it. And you can pick up under it, you can tap it, you can do anything to get your nail straight finish driving it all the way. Now most of the time when we drive nails, we're gonna drive them in till they hit the wood and I'm gonna give it one last little lick. And you heard the sound change and I know that that nail head is flush. There's a few circumstances when you don't, but they're most of the time that you do. So what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna show you the pulling part. Remember, claw hammers are used to drive nails and pull nails. And when you're trying to pull nails, the curved claw works way better than a straight claw. Straight claw you can use, but it just takes more energy to do it. It's all physics, all science. You pull up under it, you've got to brace your wood, and then start pulling. Now there's a trick, there's some tricks you can do to this. If you've got it started, you can take a little cheater block and stick up under it. And it helps give a little more force and makes it easier to pull out. Remember the basics of the claw hammer. You've got the head, the face, the claw, the handle. The grip is back here. This is where you grip it. And you want this face to come parallel with the, with the shaft on that nail and hit strike the head right in the middle. If you strike it off at all, it's gonna bend. And that's where you get bend from. And it takes a lot of practice to be able to do this every time quickly. That is how to use a claw hammer.